Hey, what's up, everyone? Scary Chain Jumps here back with Pokemon Souls. So, in the last episode, we decided to take on the Champion Lance for the second time, and we have defeated the Elite Four. And in this episode, it is a finale, so you know we're gonna burst Pokemon Trainer Red. Now, um, off screen, I have trained up uh, my Pokemon, and um, up to like mid 70s. So, um, I also taught. I got rid of uh, Ice Beam on Icebreaker and taught him Blizzard. Now, just in case I want Ice Beam again. For the after game, um, I could just use the hard scale that I found a while back and just use that on him. But um, you know that that's if I find it or if if I need it, like in all seriousness. But um, it's extremely hot in my room, so I can't even turn on my fan. Whoa, that was so cool. There's like a little quacks out in the thing. But I'm gonna speed my way up here because I'm gonna need all the time I need to burst him, especially since I'm not gonna be speeding up. Uh, that's just a freaking escape rope. You're not gonna need that. Uh, let's see what's down here. I, I already know my way through here. I tried recording this like three other times earlier, but like I just kept getting interrupted and it was really annoying. So that's why I'm speeding my way through here. And uh, this video was supposed to be uploaded yesterday, obviously. Um, I'm still recording this on the. Um, I'm recording this on Saturday, but it was supposed to be it was supposed to be uploaded on Saturday, but. It just didn't work out, so I'm deciding that I'm gonna upload two bonus episodes tomorrow on Monday. The two bonus episodes I was gonna upload, um, I'm gonna upload them on Monday, and then the finale will just be up on Sunday. So you know, it'll be as easy as that. And hopefully, you guys don't like get mad that I'm doing that, but or uploading two videos a day. I mean, the bonus episode shouldn't be too long. Um, I'll probably just be like dis discussing stuff, so you know. Um, let's see, we're almost there, so I think after this cave, it's, it's the last part, so let's just put on the last match of hell and head in. So with that, I will walk through this last cave of Mount Silver, use Rock Climb right here, and let's, what's his name, just take us up. Now once we go through here, as you see, there's no music, and it seems as if we're on the peak of Mount Silver, and there's some dude standing over here. So if we talk to him, dot, 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 dot. And some epic Pokemon music comes on. And now it is Carlos versus, versus Pokemon Trainer Red. Now he's going to start off with a level 88 Pikachu ability, Static, Held Item, Light Ball, and Moveset, Bolt Tackle, Iron Tail, Quick Attack, and Thunderbolt. So, don't mess around with this Pokemon. If you have a bulky or fast ground type, use them right away before you start the match. Because if you don't, you will be fucked. For the rest of this match because this pikachu can do a lot of damage to you especially if you're a ground type and you're pretty slow if it uses iron tail on you you could be gone um if you're anything else he uses bolt uh bolt tackle or thunderbolt you could be gone too so you know don't mess around with him <laughs> don't mess around with uh trainer red you know he he isn't somebody to mess around with so um I'm gonna bring out Electro because he's bringing out his Lapras. His Lapras is level 80, Ability Shell Armor, Moveset, Body Slam, Brine, Blizzard, and Psychic. So, um, I've already tried this before, and using a Thunder would only take him down to the red, and since it has Shell Armor, you can't do any critical hit moves to it. So, you know, there's no way of one-hitting it with any Thunder move that I have. I mean, if you had Zap Cannon, you probably could, but the accuracy on Zap Cannon sucks, so, you know... Um, I decided just to go for two Thunderbolts because that's going to be the most safest because it will take him down to the yellow and he won't be able to use any forward storage because that's other program and just using another one would definitely KO it and since we're faster, you know, there we go. I guess this Lapras is gone. And um, this match isn't too hard if you're, if you're prepared for this. This match should not be hard whatsoever, but um, if you have a lot of strategy, it shouldn't be hard, but if you just go into this match with just, like, Pokemon as high as mine with no strategy, then you're just fucked. Because this trainer right here, Pokemon Trainer Red, is no one to be messing around with. I'm going to bring out Icebreaker here, um, and he's going to come out with Charizard, level 84, Ability Blaze, and Moveset, Blast Burn, Flare Blitz, Air Slash, and Dragon Pulse. So I'm going to go for a Surf. I'm pretty sure the Surf will take him down to the red zone, or if I get a crit, it will take him down to um, the normal, you know, uh, what's it called, zone. Red zone. I, yeah, into the red zone. So hopefully I get a crit. If I do, that would be... Actually, no, I think it's going to die because it uh, got... Because of the flare blitz, no, it didn't. Uh, okay, hopefully this isn't enough for him to, you know, heal up or anything. So if I go for another surf, he would definitely be gone. Okay, yeah, now he, he's gonna heal up here. So 
That was kind of sad, I guess. I guess we can go for two other surfs and hope to get rid of him. Um, I think I might go for a waterfall the second time, you know? Hopefully that would be better. Wow, it's extremely hot in my room. I don't know why, but it's always hot in my room. Everywhere else in my house, it's always cold, so you know, it's just weird for it being extremely hot in my room. So, I'm gonna go for a waterfall. Oh, he withdrew Charizard. I should have thought he was gonna do that. He's coming out with Venusaur. Fuck! His Venusaur is level 84. Ability overgrown or overgrow and its move set is frenzy plant giga drain sludge bomb and sleep powder This is what gave me the most trouble last time when I was fighting him. Oh my god Oh fuck. I should have guessed he was gonna come out with Venusaur because of that um, His Venusaur can seriously kill me easily now What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use ace as a little slave here and hope that I can heal up icebreaker because ace is no like help in this job or Oh, okay, sleep powder. That was surprising. The last time he never used sleep powder, but, um, yeah. Um, Ace is no help. Like, Dropek barely does anything to Venusaur, so only thing I can do is go for Blizzard. Now, as you notice, it is hailing, so, um, Blizzard has 100% accuracy in the hail, so there's no way Blizzard can miss. So, you know, if you have a Pokemon that knows Blizzard, be sure... To have it use Blizzard on this Venusaur so you can get rid of the first try because if you don't, the Ice Beam will not get rid of it unless you have a really high level Pokemon like up in the 80s. Because my Ice Beam only gets him down to like uh, the yellow zone. So Blizzard should be enough to get rid of it. And since it has 100% accuracy, you know, that would probably do the job. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully here. Um, I, I know I'm slower than this Venusaur, so hopefully this Blizzard can get rid of him and hope that he doesn't do anything too bad. Okay, Giga Drain should take me down to the yellow zone, and then I should be able to kill him with a blizzard, especially with the HP he has. I could probably take him down with the ice beam with the HP he has, but, you know, Giga Drain is definitely going to give him back his HP, so... Alright, yeah, hopefully Blizzard can do the job here. If it doesn't, I have no idea what I'm going to do, because th this was my last choice. I had to go out and buy Blizzard in uh, Goldenrod City, just so I could get rid of this Venusaur and hope- No! Not even a Blizzard can get rid of this Venusaur. This Venusaur is a freaking monster. Oh my god. And he's using Giga Drain. Holy crap. Not even a Blizzard can take out this freaking Venusaur. Oh my god. Especially with this Giga Drain. Like, I, I swear this Venusaur is probably like- the worst thing to go up against, just because of, oh my god, this is crazy, uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to go out with Chuck, that's what I had to do last time, just to beat him, now, I'm just gonna go for a Mega Horn, and I know we're faster than him, so hopefully this Mega Horn can do the job, because it's our toughest move, other than close combat, and yes, it did, oh my god, okay, so he got rid of Icebreaker, and we still has his, we still have his Charizard alive, so I'm gonna have to revive Char uh, Icebreaker soon, so, um, who's he coming out with next? Oh snap, he's coming out with Charizard. Okay, I think I'm gonna come out with Quicksand, because Quicksand is no hope for us anymore in this, um, match, so... With Quicksand, he can be our, like, little, you know, um, slight Pokemon here, just so I can max. Uh, since this is the last episode, I'm pretty sure I do have Max Revive, so yeah, I'm just gonna not chance it use Max Revive on Icebreaker. And then... Oh my god. This is really crazy. Once you get that Venusaur out of the way, this match still isn't such a breeze, but this, his Venusaur is just crazy. Like, oh my god, his Venusaur is just so hard to beat, if you haven't noticed. I mean, not even a Blizzard from my freaking, um, from my Lapras could take him out. Oh my god, that was freaking, damn. Alright, so he killed our Quicksand in one hit, so... Oh my god, 1 HP, that is crazy. I'm not gonna lie, that, that really is crazy, but still. Let's go out with a Waterfall, he's obviously gonna heal up, so hopefully a Waterfall can do something to this Charizard, and then we'll uh, follow up with a Surf, because I'm pretty sure Waterfall doesn't do as much as Surf, just because, I don't know. Even though I'm an attacker, even though my Ice Break is an attacker, I wish it was a special attacker, though. Special attackers are way better. I don't know why, I just love special attackers, but yes, I knew... Waterfall wasn't going to be able to kill him, but 
Surf obviously does more than Waterfall, so I'm pretty sure if we follow up with a Surf, that will be more than enough to kill this freaking... Oh my god, he used Blast Burn. Blast Burn is really good. I'm pretty sure it won't kill us, but still. Oh my god. Yes, thank you. Alright. And I guess this Charizard is gone, so, you know, wasn't too hard to get rid of this Charizard. Ah, oh, dang, you really do need strategy for this match. Um, damn, that was crazy. Alright, uh, who is he coming out with next? He's coming out with Blastoise, wow, that's weird. Alright, I'm gonna come out with Razor and hope that Friendly Plant can get rid of this Blastoise. I was hoping that he would bring out Blastoise last so I can Friendly Plant him last and then just, you know, end off with my freaking, um, starter, but I guess it's not gonna be that way. So his Blastoise, level 84, ability, Torrent, and moveset, Hydro Cannon, Blizzard, Flash Cannon, Focus Blast. Now, obviously, he's gonna just spam Blizzard on me, but I'm pretty sure, I, I, I know Blizzard can't kill me with one hit, so, you know, I'm pretty sure if I hit this Frenzy Plant, he will be dead, and I'll survive, so, you know, hopefully this Blizzard doesn't kill me. Yes, it, it doesn't, and this, hopefully this Frenzy Plant does kill him, so, you know, we just gotta hope that it does. Because if, if it doesn't, then I guess we're going to have to go out with Electro and finish him off that way. But let's just see what this freaking Frenzy Plant can do. Yes! One hit K. That's what I was thinking. Strongest, strongest ga grass type move can definitely get rid of a Blastoise. Come on, what am I thinking? I, I kind of noticed it was like starter against starter there. I mean, first gen starter versus second gen starter. But now he's bringing out Snorlax, and I will bring out Chuck for this. Now, if you have noticed, the only person who didn't get too much screen time was Ace, just because I had to use him as a slave, because I'm telling you, Ace was not too good in the 4th gen. I shouldn't have picked him, but, you know, I'm not gonna, like, uh, beat on him for that, because he was still a good flying type on our team, and he was helpful most of the time. I'll say at least 90% of the time he was really helpful. I'm gonna go with close combat here on this Snorlax, because... You know Snorlax is very bulky. Now this Snorlax level 82 ability, Thick Fat, Moveset, Shadow Ball, Crunch, Blizzard, and Giga Impact. So, you know, that close combat took him out and we have finally beaten Pokemon Trainer Red. Oh my god, that was crazy. Wow. Player defeated Pokemon Trainer Red, dot dot dot. And we won 33k Poke Dollars for that. With that, he just says dot and he leaves us. Now we can't really do anything, and it starts saving. He just, like, disappeared in midair, and now saving our game, and I guess it's finally... I guess this game has finally ended, guys. This is crazy. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh! This game. This game. This game. I have to give, like, a lot of claps, too. No, those are my claps. But this game is truly amazing. I love what they did with this game, especially like how they came up with the, di with the idea in Gold and Silver and continued it with Crystal. And then they made remakes for this game, which made it even better because I love the idea how you can go from Johto to Kanto, just to be like in two areas. It's so cool. And you can, this is the game where you earn the most badges, 16. So this game is definitely one of the longest Pokemon games. Um, the after game is especially extremely long. Um, uh, so, you know, I don't really know what, to, what else to say. This is the finale, and there will be bonus episodes, so it's not like I'm done completely with the game, but I am done with the full story of the game. And I like how they actually have stuff after the after game, so it's like a double after game. It's kind of like Black 2, you know, where there's still more stuff after you beat the game, but I'm pretty sure it's like that with every single Pokemon game now, but... You know, I've really loved this game. This game is just amazing. I love the idea that they came up with this game. I hope they make more games kind of like it. Like, uh, I don't know. Probably like Sinnoh and Hoenn together, but that would be pretty stupid. Not not gonna lie, that would be extremely stupid. But, <laughs> you know, I don't really care now. But, um, let's just hope that they're, that X and Y are as good as the older games. Just because the newer the games got, the more, like story just got worse or something i don't know i just like the older games more um reason i played this game was just because it was a remake so you know makes kind of sense a after fourth gen or the fifth gen just like kind of disappointed me because once fifth gen came out i just hated pokemon and then once i bought black and two i got back into it and you know it was it was the fifth gen that kind of got me and i hope that the sixth gen doesn't do that to me again because 
I am hoping that 6th gen does not ruin it just like they did with 5th um, gen because I know a lot of people drop Pokemon when they saw 5th gen Pokemon. They're just like, oh, that's ugly, oh my god, it's stupid, why would they even do that? And they just like dropped it, so, you know, I hope the same thing doesn't happen. And I hope that Pokemon can continue on for a long time. I know there's a lot of people out there that say it should just end already, but, you know, I'm not one of those people. I wish that it can cont continue and, you know, make it a little bit harder instead of these easy games. That's why they make ROM hacks out there. <laughs> but I think I'm going to let the credits talk for itself. Or, actually, we're at the end of the credits, so it doesn't really matter. But I hope you guys enjoy this LP as much as I have, because I know I truly have. I think I'll see you guys next time on my new LP. Peace out, guys.